to introduce myself to you. I'm Belladonna Van Kempner, Queen of Zars, of the lineage of the King Jebediah. <sighs> Sometimes I have the tendency to ramble on. Before I get too far ahead of myself, allow me to introduce you to my uncle, Milton Van Kempner. Hello, peasants. You'll have to excuse Uncle Milton. He has not had his bloody Mary this evening. Have you ever wondered the truth about where vampires and werewolves come from? <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot to introduce my cousin, Wolfington. If you don't mind, I would like to share with you the Van Kempner Saga. In this first episode, we find a lost poor soul who finds Uncle Sebastian. Or is it Great Aunt Alicia? We'll let you decide. So grab some popcorn and relax if you can. <laughs> <laughs> And join us as we watch the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor.
Alicia, where have you been? I haven't seen you all morning. Yes, Aunt Amberly. I took an early morning stroll through the woods. It was so relaxing and peaceful and quiet. No, Aunt Amberly, you drink enough for the both of us. Did you know this morning, just before dawn, the moon was still full? Well, since there was a full moon, I can only hope that Sebastian is still under control. Yes, I'm sure he is. After all, Sir Edward has been his keeper for many many moons. Yes. I suppose you're right, my dear. Let me ask you. How do you feel about your cousin Stephanie coming to live with us? I guess I don't really care one way or the other. I've never met the girl. As long as she stays out of my way, I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Well, try to remember she's only 16. And she just lost her parents. And she knows nothing of our family. Aunt Amberly. Do you really think I am that much of a monster? Master William is here with young Stephanie. Young Stephanie has arrived from England and already is creating quite the stir. But isn't that just like a Van Kempner? Queen Belladonna, why don't you tell our guests how the Van Kempners came to be upon the earth? Yes, I did neglect that. Our Great uncle Jebediah was the king of czars until his throne was overtaken by an evil tyrant. But of course, we have the throne back now, or we 
wouldn't be on this show. <laughs> What's that? Little Timmy has fell in the well? Excuse me, Queen Belladonna, while I go search for little Timmy. This is so true, Wolfington. Poor Uncle Melton. He has never been able to understand a word you said. Wolfington, are you enjoying the show? <laughs> down, boy, down. You don't need to show our guests what a beast you can be. While Uncle Milton is out searching for the well we don't have, let's watch Stephanie in her first appearance. <laughs> Welcome back, Master William. Thank you. This must be young Stephanie. My name is Benjamin Asher. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Benjamin Asher. And yes, you're right. I am Stephanie Von Kepner. I'm from the north of London, and you're from? I'm from a little town called and I'm your aunt, Amberly Van Kempner, your father's sister. Yes. Yes, father spoke often of a sister. And this is your cousin, the Baroness Alicia Van Kempner. Oh, it's, it's such an honor to finally get to meet you, my cousin, and, and Baroness, uh, Alicia. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sure it is, Stephanie. Benjamin, could you please show young Stephanie to the room? I'm certain after our long trip back from the airport, she would enjoy freshening up. Mm. Yes, I suppose so, if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> right this way, young Stephanie. Oh, and Aunt Emily? Will I be seeing you again today? Oh yes, you'll see me later on at dinner tonight. Oh, and by the way, where is my uncle, the Baron? You'll meet him in good time, my dear. I'm sure Uncle Jebediah is in the study. It takes quite a lot to run this business. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm sure it does. Please excuse me. Alicia, why did you talk to her that way? You don't even know her. Try and remember, she just lost her parents, my father, in a plane crash. Your father? You never cared about your father. You haven't spoken to him in years. William, I could have said the same thing. I just don't know what's getting into her these days. This is why! You two are picking sides already!
May I help you, sir? Yes. I'm Stephen Sinclair, and I'm here for Alicia Van Kempner. Very well, sir. This way to the drawing room. Master William. Yes, Benjamin. May I introduce Stephen Sinclair? I've heard many things. The great William Van Kempner. Pleasure to finally meet you. Would you care for a glass of wine, Mr. Sinclair? Yes, you know we do make the very best. You would know, I never. You drink enough of it. Stephen! What a surprise! Yes, I'm... I'm sure it is. Excuse me, Master William. Master Jebediah would like to see you in the study. Of course, Benjamin. If you all would excuse me. Yes, and, uh... <clears throat> if you would excuse me as well, I, uh have some things to deal with in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen, my foot. She doesn't even know where the kitchen is. Why are you here? I miss you. No, I miss you. You know I cannot stand to be without you. If my father finds out about us before I'm ready, there will be hell to pay! Come on. You know your father can't be that bad. My father is a very powerful man. Okay, you don't know him. He's not the kind of guy you want to mess with. Stop. Stop. This is not funny. Not a game, okay? My father is dangerous. Right now, my cousin William is in my father's study telling him that you're here. Excuse me, Baroness Alicia. Your father would like a word with you. Thank you. I told you. Yes, father? You wanted to see me? Alicia, what is this I hear about you seeing Stephen Sinclair? Is there something you're not telling me? Father, please don't be angry, but I've kind of been seeing Stephen. Seeing him? Don't be angry, Father, please. Alicia, Stephen Sinclair wants only one no. Two things. He wants your power and he wants your money. Neither will he get as long as I'm around. Father, all I ask is that you just give him a chance. Listen, forget Stephen. We'll talk about him later. Did you know that Stephanie's here? Stephanie. Yes, sweet Stephanie. We will talk about Mr. Sinclair later. For now. Come. Let's see Stephanie. honor to finally get to see you. Stephanie, it's it's a pleasure to meet you, my child. What is it? It's it's just uncanny. What what is uncanny, dear? It's uncanny how much you look like father. Yes, I I suppose it is. Have they made you feel comfortable? Of course, Uncle. Benjamin has taken the liberty of showing me around the entire estate. He told me that I can go anywhere I wanted. Except... Except the basement. Oh, yes, the, the basement. Uh, in time, we'll explain about the basement, but... For now, you're welcome to anything that we have 
it's yours. But I need you to go with your Aunt Amberly, if you would, Aunt Amberly. I need to speak with Mr. Sinclair. Okay? All right. I'll see you later, dear. Thank you, Uncle. So good to have you. Thank you. Alicia. Yes, Father. Go with your Aunt Amberly and your cousin, please, as William and I speak with Mr. Sinclair. Yes, Father. I don't know a Timmy, and we don't even have a well. That bastard. No, really, folks, he is a bastard. We don't know who his father is. Hmm. What do you suppose is in the basement? And who is this Mr. Sinclair? <laughs> I agree, Wolfington. He is trouble. Uncle Milton, did you rescue Timmy from the well? Yes, my queen. I rescued little Timmy from the well and his dog Slappy. <laughs> yes, I am quite a hero. <sighs> now on to the conclusion of tonight's episode. Mr. Sinclair, please come have a seat. Mr. Sinclair, what's this I hear about you seeing my daughter Alicia? And exactly, how did you two meet? Well, Baron, William, hope I'm not out of line when I say that I have grown quite fond of your daughter Alicia. And in fact, she has grown quite fond of me as well. And when we met in a beautiful park on a sunny afternoon where the sun was as golden as her hair. Mr. Sinclair, Alicia is 20 years younger than you. And Mr. Sinclair, you've been married four times. Four times? Yes. I've done my homework. Two of his wives disappeared mysteriously. One of his wives was committed to an institution. And the fourth had a bizarre and tragic death. Mr. Sinclair, if anything like that ever happened to Alicia, you can bet on your grave you'd rue the day you ever ever met me. Let's just say that I had a, a string of bad luck. Bad luck? Bad luck. Bad luck for the women, but not so much for you, eh Sinclair? All four of your wives left you with a tidy sum of money. I've done my research, Sinclair. And your research should tell you that I am a good lawyer. Yes. But not a very good one, are you? Of the 183 cases you've been put on, you've only won a handful. Well, you're not a very good lawyer, Mr. Sinclair. Good lawyer? Bad lawyer? doesn't matter. We don't want you here, Sinclair. And we're going to do whatever it takes to make you leave. Is that a threat, 
Well, Mr. Sinclair, we don't have to threaten you. You remember Mr. Asher? He's been with me for as long as I can remember. He knows all of the family secrets. And one word from me, Mr. Sinclair, he'll snap your neck like a twig. William, my nephew, I sent him to martial arts school. He's been with me since he was a young boy. He's one of the best I've ever seen in me. I'm a real good shot. Of course, we all carry guns. Uh, Mr. Sinclair, I don't think you understand. We are a family. And there's things and secrets in this family that you never want to, never want to uncover. And if you did uncover any of them, you will never leave here. Well, the plot is really starting to thicken now. Just like your blood in the morning, Uncle Milton. You have been watching the Chronicles of Dark Wolf Manor with your host, Queen Belladonna. Please join us for the next episode of the Van Kempner Family Saga. Say goodnight, family.